Guys, welcome to the Justin Root Show. Now, if you were to turn to your friend right now and mention the Justin Root Show, there's a 100% chance they would say what? But if you turn to them and mention Young and the Restless, there is a 100% chance they have heard of it and or have probably seen it. And today we have an Emmy winner from that show, Greg Rickhart. Welcome, Hi. thank you so much for coming here. Thank you for having me. Take me to Emmy night. I have like a vague memory of being up on stage, but my memories of it are more from watching it and being like, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I remember it. And where is it? Uh, it's my car. Go get it. We have plenty of time if you guys want to get stopped. It's, Wait. it's on my mantle. Is know? it like a hood ornament on your car? I thought about putting it like that, but then I'm like, somebody's going to take it. And it really is. So it is on your mantle. You're not it's one of those actors. It's like, I think it's in uh, a closet. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. What is that? Yeah. You, you won an award. Like, I be proud not. of it. I have not. Actually, that's not true. I won Best Supporting Actor at Castle High School. See? Best Bands for uh, our production of The Breakfast Club. Wait, so, um, but where is that award? Um, frame. There's like a little red laser light that shines on it. So if anyone comes near it and tries yeah. to take it off the wall, there's like a zap thing. I think we need to be proud of our accomplishments. Good. Now, Not do you really? Yes. Okay, good. Absolutely. Good. Because you seem so genuine and excited when you won. Yeah, it was, um, it was a surreal moment. My mom told me afterwards that one year, because uh, I grew up watching a lot of TV, and one year she and I were watching the Emmys, and, um, and I used to get so excited when the Emmys were on. I would like pick my snacks. It would be like an event, like no one could disturb me. And my mom and I were watching the Emmys, and apparently I turned to her and said, I'm going to win one of those someday. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah it's I pretty cool, that. right? Now, had you, okay, you're on Young and the Restless, which is the number one rated show for 25 years now. Yeah, 26, That's, I think. Right. Is it really 26? Yeah. Incredible. It's pretty remarkable. Incredible. Had you watched it before? No. no. Well, sort of, that's, that's a vague answer. Like, um, I had like an old TV in my room growing up, so if I was like homesick from school, I didn't have a remote. So I would just like whatever channel it was on, it was on, and oftentimes it was Price is Right, and then I'd like be feverish and sleepy, and then I'd wake up and there'd be a soap opera on. So probably I have, but I wasn't like a fan. Mm -hmm. When you were a kid, I think you watch what your parents watched exactly. growing up. Yeah, is that how you got into Cheers? Yeah, actually, yeah, my grandpa loved um, Cheers and watched it, and I loved True Beverly Hills mm -hmm. and pretty yeah. much every Money Pit mm -hmm. and average score. I mean, we could spend the entire hour on Shelley Long. I, I fully support this. Okay, I understand. Okay. But there's another huge like 80s icon who's my Shelly Long, and I want to know where she registers on your radar. Oh god, okay. Should I hey, wait, give me a hint, let's play a game. Give me a hint. I'll get it. Okay. You should be able to get it just from this. She was if you don't think of Sam and Diane, you think of these two as the 80s super cut. Because now I'm doing like Bruce and Demi, Kim and Alec, and that's movie stars. Um Well you you were warm. I was? You were really warm. In fact, you were like this is giving it away. You were half right with one of the two that you just mentioned. Oh my god! Sybil Shepherd yes! and Bruce Willis. Yes! Moonlighting! Yes! Oh my god, and you wrote a paper on her in a ten, uh, when you were 10 years old. I did, yeah. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Did your teacher give you a A I don't and remember. then a G in front of it and a Y after it? <laughs> Probably. Have you met Sybil? Yeah, yeah. I've met her quite a few times. The first Okay, so when I first started on YNR, I right. <laughs> when I first started, I took my Emmy over and met her. I didn't yeah, do that. Sorry, um, we should. But she may have seen it when she was in my house. We'll get back to that. Okay. Come so, on. <clears throat> um, when I first started on YNR, I, the first thing I bought myself, like my first splurge, was an original Last Picture Show movie poster. And so before I had it framed, I had my manager call her manager, and she signed it for me. So you love her, oh, love her. Yes, love her. Oh my god. And half since I was like 10. That's... So years later, coincidentally, Clementine, her daughter, uh, started working on our show. Get back to Sybil at my house. So Clementine uh, got married in my backyard. <laughs> Are you kids? Yeah. So you're like friends with Sybil. You're not just, you know. Uh, I'm you're... friends with Clementine, and then, you know, and Clementine is fully aware that, like, I'm a super fan of her mom. And but... Sai Shepard just arrives at your house for the wedding. She did, yes. She just, um, you know, Did she float a little. Oh, she did. Yeah, she, she, um, she didn't have to knock. She went like that to the door, and we knew she was. <laughs> um, I love that. And so, yeah. Anyway, she's lovely and sweet. And did you see her as Martha Stewart? Yes, oh, both times. That's I, yeah. I love. Oh my God! It was um, so campy. That movie, um, it, to me, is like up there with uh, Mommy Dearest. Yeah, it's great. And the Betty Roberts story. I never saw it. Meredith Baxter, um, who is on. Um, Family Times? Yeah, but then another one. Yeah, the, the rest so, of us. But that's the one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
I didn't fan out with her. I never worked with her. So you never watched Family Ties? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I Did you see her? Did she? Were you yes, guys? Yes, yes, yes. That is actually, I, I, I actually really want to talk to you, obviously, a lot about The Young and the Restless. Because here's the thing, and I'm being serious. You guys, I don't feel like soap stars get the credit they deserve as for as much work as they do. I mean, that is, you think about your favorite show, mm -hmm. you see it once a week. Yeah. I've worked on primetime shows where you shoot, let's see, seven, eight pages a day. Yeah. We do that in like 45 minutes. And your show is on every single day and yeah. hour. I mean, that is hard work. Because you've been on it now for 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. I was supposed to be there for a few weeks originally, and then they said, oh, we like what you're doing, we're going to stay for a year. When I went back and think, like, a job that was supposed to last a few weeks has sustained me for 12 years. And it was supposed to last a few weeks because you were, like, a creepy internet predator mm -hmm. who infected someone with chlamydia. Yeah. I mean, come on. Are you judging where me? Are you acting, judging me? Where in acting class did you do that scene? Where was... <laughs> What trained you for that? <laughs> the closest was I had a teacher once who told us how to play being a drug addict, and she said just pretend like you have really bad diarrhea and you can't get to a bathroom. I believe. Isn't that amazing? It's actually. It's like oh, it's kind. Of, it's so, so. It's something we've all experienced. And you're like I don't know what it's like to be a drug addict, but you know we yeah. all need a bathroom. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do, what what are the fans like on that show? And I know that they're an incredible rabid like because the fan of the Justin Root show is <laughs> that way, and she's my mother, but um, she's very, you know, loving and supportive. Uh, I can't I'm, go I'm anywhere with that. I'm a big fan of the Justin Root show. Well, thank you. I, I'm sitting where Rue has said. I know. I mean, come on. I have the same pillow. I got it at West Elm. With your okay. name on it, or my Yours. <laughs> they sell it at West Elm now. I know, they do. 1999. I'll <laughs> link it on the, on the show. Now, who are your, like, middle-aged women, young girls? Oh, like, are they, uh, who, cause, I like to think that I, I sort of uh, proudly carry the flag of having the, the gay fans of our show. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Kevin is not gay, but he's um, <laughs> he's the closest thing we have to a gay character. Okay. He's certainly not the Lothario on the show. He's had a lot of problems with women. and um, But a lot of women. Yeah. There's yeah. been a lot. I mean, but he's, you know, he doesn't know how to treat women. He, he knows how to give them STDs and, and, <laughs> and not be nice. But, um, but also, I think, you know, uh, fans of the show who know who I am in my personal life, you know, I think rooting for Kevin to, to have a secret. Okay. Which I think would be fun. Okay. Do you think that it might be headed in that direction that he has a secret? Maybe. Maybe not. I think... Scoop. Uh, Breaking scoop. <laughs> Breaking scoop. I mean, it's, it's, it's something that uh, I've discussed with my bosses, saying, hey, if there, if there is going to be a gay character, if uh, I think I would be the great, no. the perfect candidate. It'd be easy to bring on a gay character. I think it'd be a, little, a lot more interesting to follow the journey of the character coming out. Interesting. Especially a character that the audience knows. Well, because you, you know, very famously tweeted in mm -hmm. 2013, you know, in support of gay marriage yeah, and yeah. equality and a picture of you and your partner. Yeah. And how was that reception? Uh, you know, look, if I was the Lothario on the show, I might have been a little more concerned with that. I can't say I wasn't at all concerned with it. If I wasn't, I would have been out when I was 24. You know, I was hosting this fundraiser for Glisten every year. It's an anti-bullying organization. Mm -hmm. And I was doing a lot of work, like, behind the scenes, and it sort of felt like just the next logical step. Because you were never secretly gay. It was just not an announced career-wise. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I mean, everyone at work knew yeah. from very early on. It was just not a statement I had made publicly. But again, I was like... And I, I didn't even feel like a hypocrite. It was more just like, I'm doing all this, like, advocacy work for gay and lesbian organizations. Like, why not just take the next step? Um, and, I, and I don't know if this was your experience as a as a kid, but I was like, if if the environment we were in, that we are in now, existed when we when I was a teenager, I mean, had I known that there were regular men and women out there who were gay and lesbian, people who I would see on TV and like that I was exposed to that way, I think that would have been really helpful for me. I I was I was bullied, and I bullied because you don't. And when you're a kid, you don't understand how to process all that, so you just say, all right, somebody's making me feel bad. I'll try and make myself feel better by. Making somebody else mad. We don't just understand that till we're older. We don't understand, yeah. you know, exactly why we've done that, and we're, you know, yeah, exemplifying our own insecurities that we had. And I heard you actually reached out to the person yeah. you bullied yeah. and sent him a message on Facebook. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. It was like I, I, I was in therapy once. I've been in therapy more than once. But I was in therapy, and I was talking to my therapist about this fundraiser that I was doing for Glisten. If you need to lay down, put your head here, and have me talk. Go. So my therapist was like, as I was talking about this uh, fundraiser, he was like, were you, were you bullied as a kid? And Just I was... repealed my Eileen Davidson. Ah. Um, 
This was when she was on Days of Our Lives. Oh my god. I had to send away for it. You did. Which probably means like her assistant wrote. Okay. That. Wait, this keep it right there. It was a secret. He moved the pillow. <laughs> I got. I, 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 talk I, to me seriously. I have a secret of my own. Go ahead. Wait, wait. Don't stay. Stay like that. Tell don't me your move. problems in therapy. Don't move. You're supposed to put that in front of your face. Okay. Should we just do the interview like this now? Oh my god. Can I look? Yeah. <gasps> and you didn't have to send away for this one. And you know what? She did sign. So let's Shut compare. Shut up. Wait, let's compare Are these serious? And see if. Uh, oh my god, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. This is how amazing she is. Mm -hmm. It is the same. Oh, wait, but it doesn't have this on the back. Oh. What does it say? It says, Dear Friend. <laughs> is it a stamp? I was so pleased to receive your letter. I really appreciate you writing to let me know your thoughts about the show and my character. Thank you very much for your support. God bless Amy Davidson. Well, I don't know how. I mean, she, that, it's, she is God, so she She's might as well have said She really is. She's Eileen Bless, Eileen Davidson. <laughs> so listen, we're going to get back to that in a second because this is very important. But I'm going to tell you, I grew up on Days of Our Lives. Okay. That was what my mom watched. That's what I watched. Never missed an episode. Mm -hmm. I had to press record on my VCR at 7 a.m. when I left for school, mm -hmm. and it would take through the whole day. Because okay. this was back before you yeah, could yeah, yeah. program it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'd have to come and fast forward five hours of TV to get to Days of Our Lives, whatever. And then she left. Yeah. And she went back to Young and the Restless. Right. That's when I started watching Young and the Restless. Oh. So I have been a Young and the Restless fan for quite some time. And I have because asked, of her. Because of her. But I get it. She um, led me to my love of you and everyone else on the yeah. show. So, oh my God! And you really got it. I'm so, yeah. I'm so excited. And <sighs> and you picked a good person to be like a fan of because she's so lovely and amazing. Who is your favorite character to work with on Young and the Restless? Character, so that you don't get in trouble. I'm not worried about getting in trouble. Okay. Who's um, your favorite actor or actress to work with on the show? I have more than one because there's like thirty okay. some actors. I know there's right? a ton. It's all the. It's not. It's a lot. A lot of them are the. Uh, are the women who are slightly older than me, like Eileen, okay. Can Jess. we talk about Joan Van Ark then, as uh, your mother? Yes, I saw her last week. Valine Ewing. I know. Did you watch Knots Landing? It's okay if you didn't. No, but... I um, was obsessed. Well, also, you know, uh, Ted Chappaford plays my stepdad. Yes, I know this. <laughs> uh, I don't even have to look it up. Valine and Gary Ewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she was great. What's the way one's going right now? Sally Kellerman? Yeah. Um, Don Mills. Donna Mills. Marshall Wallace was on your show. Yeah. She I kidnapped mean, me. I know. Actually, let's um, go into a little... Are you, do you want to take a little Young and the Restless quiz? Yes. Do you? Yeah. All right.